Tess, you've asked me if we have lightning bugs in the Mara or Juma. Um, I can't say I've ever heard of a lightning bug, Tess, at all in my life. Um, you're welcome, please, if you don't mind, to just give me another common name or describe it a little bit better. And I, I possibly have seen it, um, what a lightning bug is. Uh, you're welcome to use the hashtag Safari Live or, yeah, use the hashtag Safari Live and, uh, and send through a, 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 a description just to help me out a little bit. I've never heard of the common name lightning bug on the site. And what you're looking at there is the olive baboon. Opposed to the Chakma baboon, which you find at Juma, which Tristan would be hearing most mornings and evenings, this olive baboon lives in fairly large troops, much larger than what the Chakma baboon lives in, and is also a bit hairier, but they're about the same weight and size. Just look at that, very arrogant. <laughs> I love these, these guys. They are omnivorous, eating virtually anything, including carrion. They will also fish, dig out mussels in drying up pans, eat fruits. They will hunt meat from time to time, in particular newborn calves of bushbuck, impala, nyala, almost anything. I don't know what this baboon is busy eating there. Oh, hang on. That is a baby baboon being either groomed it's holding its baby upside down <laughs> before, before i burst out laughing too much let's just make sure that that baby is not deceased quite often there's a very very strong bond between mom and baby baboon and baby baboons can die and still be carried around by their mothers for quite some time so before i actually find the comedic value in in a baby baboon being groomed upside down which is what it looks like from here let's just make sure that that baboon no i saw a leg twitch there are you seeing it with me or is it just my imagination legs are moving there we go, there we go. Okay, well, now it is a very funny sighting. Can you imagine? I've never in my life seen a baboon grooming its child hanging upside down. <laughs> Classic. Oh, these guys are funny. I think it's because there's so many similarities in, be in behavior. I mean, I can imagine holding my child upside down and grooming them, trying to clean Blake's feet. Not going to be an easiest thing now they are they are hairier of course and they do have a reputation these olive baboons for attacking lion and leopard and hyena for that matter of fact they've got a they've got a fearsome reputation for not tolerating predators but they are restricted to these treed treed drainage lines and these and the slopes of the mountains so that they can get into the trees they do obviously sleep in the trees at night same as the chakma baboon uh, and are not completely plains based like a monkey species which we get here as well i don't know if we get it in the in the mara triangle but patas monkeys p-a-t-a-s monkeys do venture out onto the plains and on actually in actual fact the fastest running monkey species on the planet as far as i know the patas monkeys uh, we are getting into some large herbivore territory i just want you to scan the as we come left away from this mother baboon still holding her baby upside down, just have a look at the edge of the swamp and you'll start seeing all these animals starting to pop out. Now, we'll go back to these baboons in a second once we've scanned the swamp, but I can answer Juniper's question about whether baboons uh, in this area use tools or not. Juniper, um... I'm going to say no to baboons using tools, barring smashing what they've got in their hands on rocks or on branches. So I would say it's very rudimentary these, the way that these baboons use tools. They would take uh, a, a, something and smash it on the ground quite easily, but they won't pick something up and use it as a tool, specifically uh, preferencing one shape over another. That is restricted to some chimpanzees, orangutans, bonobo apes, gorillas. Um, and all of them, except with the exception of the, the, the orangutan, um, 
all of those monkeys do occur, all of those great apes do occur not too far away from here. We are in Central Africa and in the, the more forested areas of Central Africa, Rwanda, um, Uganda, the Congo, where you do find chimpanzees, bonobos and gorillas, you do find the most unbelievable uh, uh, usage of tools, specific tools, tools that are pre-selected, that are, that are shaped for a specific purpose and a specific purpose only. And uh, it's just, there's some incredible studies that have been done on these monkeys' abilities to, to use tools. But have I ever seen baboons use tools? Uh, no, I haven't, apart from smashing things. So taking the food item and smashing it on the floor. But that is not uncommon in a lot of things. Uh, Mongoose do that as well, civets do that as well, uh, otters will do that as well. So it's not an uncommon thing to take a food item and smash it rather than pre-selecting a tool and taking it to uh, the food source. All right, let's carry on through here. Ah, Tess, thank you for your description uh, on the lightning bug, Tess. You said it's otherwise known as a firefly. And in that regard, Tess, yes, we have seen some fireflies here, absolutely. There are lots of fireflies here at the moment. Um, Let me just try and get up here. Tess, in answering your question, I may have compromised my position to be able to get out of this drainage line easier. There we go. Oopsie. Jumping out of here. Out of practice driving cars. Um, this is probably only the second or third time that I've done a vehicle-based safari in the last couple of years, in actual fact. I'm finding, it, finding my feet, learning these machines again. All right, um, we're going to make our way over to the other side of the swamp where most of the animals look like they are, are congregating. And when we get there, we'll call you back and see what's going on. In the meantime, you're off to Tristan and his hunt for those leopards.